again. We got to put all this crap right here, turn signals, and there is my bike model. cleaning up the whole end of the bike because these lights in the back look pretty hideous. We're gonna clean everything up. We're gonna be adding the uh, Moose MC rear tail light right here. Um, the Harley light is a nice light. It is LED, but I just hate the way the turn signals are integrated and everything. It just looks like there's too much going on and we wanna clean up the back of this bike. So let's just get to it. We're just gonna, um, Lift up the fender, take off the light, put in the Moons MC rear light. This is the light right here. We got on the nice smoke color, real nice and clean. We also went ahead and we bought the base for it. I did a setup on my other lowrider, and on the regular lowrider, the base is like a chrome, and it looks weird because the whole bike is all blacked out. Um, but yeah, so for the Lowrider ST, you need to buy the base, you buy the light, and then last but not least, you do need to buy this wire harness right here. So let's just get into it, install day. I was gonna do this at my garage, but I was like, you know what, let me just go by the Tour Custom Cycle Shop, hang out, and work on my bike, and just talk some smack, so yeah. So now that you have her both fender strut thingamajiggies off from both sides, just make sure when you're taking it out, you're putting your hands underneath. So when you take one uh, ball out and this is come swinging out like that happened. Uh, now that you've got both of them off from both sides, it's gonna be very careful to lift up your fender. Just be very careful on both sides so you don't scratch it. Now we have easy access to unscrew the light from right here and then we're going to be taking off the uh, wiring harness that feeds in through this hole, comes through the fender and gives the power to the light and we'll have to input the new one. We're not going to make that anymore. We're going to be also adding uh, a nice flush license plate holder. connected to it. That's the reason we're going to have to go and replace it with the bracket from Moons MC. We don't need all this garbage. Bang! Let's uh, you know what, before I do this, let me just try to clean up the bottom of the fender. I don't want any of that dirt and grime going with this is going to be up. Alright, 
So we got all that grime and uh, glue off the fender in the bottom. I had to do a lot of scraping because uh, Mike just told me, he was like, listen, you should have just hit the heat gun on top of the fender and as you were going pulling it, you could hit it and it would have just gone off. But I just ripped everything off. Another thing you should take note is that there's two screws right here, one on each side of the fender. So you could take them off and instead of holding it up like that, um, I mean, I don't like it this way, but you could risk scratching your fenders on the inside. As you saw, when I was lifting, I was kind of pushing inside and lifting so it wouldn't scrape against this part right here. Um, but yeah, we got the fender cleaned inside. Now we could lay our strap down, our wire harness, and do the connections and that's it. Pretty, pretty easy. Turn signals integrated in it. Oh, okay. As opposed Get rid of that garbage. Yeah. To this shit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we got all the connections. Let's just see if the right and the left are in the right place. Alright, so it turns on. That's good. Left? Oh, well, left is right. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna switch that. There you go. Okay, let's just switch that real quick. All right, let's try this one more time. Left. Left. Right. Right. Let's do the uh, dual. Perfect. And then lastly, the brake. Perfect. I'm a wrencher again. I don't know if I like it or not. As Jerry would say, I don't like it. Jerry doesn't like anything. <laughs> Jerry does not like anything. We got all this crap right here, turn signals, and there is my bike model. All set, all done, nice and clean up, nice easy job. Here at the Tour Custom Cycle Shop, I am the new Rancher. Right, Mike? The A1 student. Yeah, I got an A today. Did my own work, came to the shop, did my own work. I got an A. Oh, damn it. Huge difference, this looks really, really clean, guys. Just to show you the previous light compared to this one, thanks for walking in front of the camera. This, uh, the Moons MC light is much uh, smaller, very nice. Low profile, I love it. We got all this crap right here. Turn signals and there is my bike model. We also did the lay down plate. 
courtesy of Tour Custom Cycles. Where's this from? Custom Dynamics? Drag. Oh, uh, from Drag. I was told from one of your viewers that I need to have more personality on your videos. Yep, here's my personality. You ordered something from Jeff, uh, Jeff Basil Customs too? I did. Jeff Bezos Customs in delivery. <laughs> that will be on YouTube. Listen, this is the ugly no. shit that Harley puts on your bike and it's horrible. These, the, this, this shit I've done here. Nice and clean, turn signals integrated into it, makes a bike look really nice and brand new now. And I really like the way my bike looks without the bags as well, so you might be rocking this clean look for a while now. Who knows? That's gonna be it. <laughs> you wanna have me work on your bike then? Come over to the Tour Cushion Second Shop where Mike could sit on your bike, model, and I could wrench. Alright, Mike? Yeah, buddy. No, not you. Oh. You lost your name. You didn't have a beard anymore. His chin off with his beard. Fuck <laughs> 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 uh, you guys laughing at <laughs> You know what? I need a picture.